that was not really uh, present during our initial discussions, but that emerged during the debate, was this concept of biomarker. If a cure arrived with a biomarker that said, yes, you received this intervention, you're on antiretroviral drugs, we now achieve the cure or remission. You can safely stop drugs. You need not worry. Uh, you need not come back frequently for viral load testing. You don't need to worry about rebound viremia infecting others. You're done. You're good to go. If we had such a biomarker, uh, then obviously there'd be a lot more tolerance for a strategy that was less effective and perhaps came with more toxicity and more cost. Um, on the other hand, if there was no such biomarker and the only way to figure out if it worked was to stop drug and follow, follow people by our load very carefully over time, then that would have to be a much safer and much more effective intervention. So, the TPP. We covered multiple different areas uh, in our discussions as typical for this process, focusing primarily on efficacy, safety, tolerability, scalability, cost, storage, distribution, and so forth. And what I want to do now is just, just give you a few big highlights of what we discussed. As an example, one characteristic we discussed in detail was the target population, and the consensus was that probably the first generation cures would work primarily in adults, that's, that's who's being studied in the current generation cure studies, and that it would work regardless of sex. Uh, but primarily in people who are healthy, on stable R, and who have uh, um, virus that's suppressed and CD4 count under 500. Optimally, of course, we have a cure that would work in everybody. Uh, as I said before, big debate on efficacy and the concept of whether or not this had to actually achieve the kind of outcomes we get now with R, which is, of course, going to be difficult to achieve with the initial generation of cures. The consensus here is that uh, we could tolerate uh, a persistent low level viremia as long as it was below some threshold above which uh, uh, transmission becomes a risk. The efficacy rate, again, depended, as I, or I discussed earlier, in terms of some other factors. If an intervention was um, safe and there was a biomarker, a yes-no, then an intervention would not necessarily have to be all that effective, say 20% of people. But if there's a lot of toxicity, a lot of cost, a lot of Means and no biomarker, then the efficacy rate would probably have to be a bit higher than 20% for it to be um, something that the field would accept. Mm -hmm. Optimistically, um, ideally, we'd have basically a sterilizing cure, no more virus, and no chance for reinfection. Um, safety, same sort of considerations, uh, but a critical thing here from a minimum is that there'd be really no tolerance, no um, uh, room for any adverse events that were significant and irreversible. And certainly no risk for excess uh, mortality. But there would be a fair amount of room for interventions that had short-term but reversible toxicities that could be quite significant. And the frequency of toxicity would depend on efficacy uh, with um, uh, interventions that are a bit less effective, um, perhaps being impactful uh, if they were safe and you know, all of our patients have discussed before. From an optimistic perspective, Perspective, of course, we can run an intervention that had no side effects and no issues with tolerability. So that's um, just a short term, uh, a short um, overview of where we are uh, in terms of where this thing is going. Uh, once it's published, once the field has some impact, the concept of, of maintaining this TPP, we move into the uh, HCAP initiative that was just discussed. Finally, just some acknowledgments. This has actually been an 18 month uh, program with a multiple different uh, groups involved in maintaining it, um, particularly uh, the IES uh, team, as well as the group at the Bill Moore Gates Foundation. Um, myself and Sharon uh, led most of the uh, uh, efforts over the period of time with our colleagues, um, but with lots of input from lots of other people, including many not mentioned here. Uh, thank you very much.